Friday morning devotion. It is a new day, another opportunity that we meet as we continue to meditate about the Word of God and also to hear from Him. We thank God for the gift of life and also of good health. Even in challenges, may it be health, may it be financial, there is always a reason to thank Him because being alive, it is a blessing by itself. It is also a good opportunity as we meditate about the Word of God to thank God for the gift of salvation. Being called a child of God, knowing that you have a relationship with the Father who is the Creator and Almighty, it is a privilege. It is a privilege to know that we are heirs of His kingdom. We thank God for the many things that He has blessed us with, remembering that throughout this year, God has been faithful. His goodness and mercy has continued to follow us, as we even entrust that God will be with us even in next year, because God is faithful, we will always be faithful. We pray that we also may strive to be faithful to Him and also to serve Him with all humility. We continue with our monthly theme. We say that this, theme, this month we are talking about the Anglican liturgical seasons and their meaning and what impact they have for us as Christians because they play a great role in terms of growing our, spiritual, our spirituality and also bringing us closer and closer to God. As we celebrate, as we observe these feasts or these seasons or some of the holidays, they have a spiritual meaning for us. And yesterday we started learning about Lent, the 40 days of Lent, and we equated the 40 days of Lent with the 40 days and nights that Jesus fasted in the wilderness. And we saw that at times the Holy Spirit and God himself will take us through the wilderness with a purpose and a reason, and also with a reason to take us through some of the lessons or even glorify himself with us in those wildernesses. And today we want to learn about what we need to do during the Lenten season and what we need to do also, not only in the Lenten season, but also in our day-to-day -day lives, let us create time of fasting. We will be learning about fasting. Fasting is the voluntary abstaining from eating and sometimes drinking with a spiritual purpose, knowing that you are doing it for a spiritual purpose. You are not just abstaining food, you are not there starving, but you are fasting because you are abstaining voluntarily for you to have time to meditate either about the Word of God, to pray, to talk to Him. We say that prayer is talking with God. It is about creating time to have a fellowship with God, to have an opportunity and a good time with God, telling Him what you desire, thanking Him even at times of fasting. At times we are tempted to only fast when things are not going on right. But it is also good to practice fasting also as a way of thanksgiving. And when we fast, one thing when we fast we do is that it shows humility. We humble ourselves before God. It is not easy to leave everything and not to eat the best food that maybe you love and commit yourself in prayer or even in reading the word of God or going for mission or certain services that God has called you. Fasting humbles us. It shows that we have humility before. It changes us. At times we are proud because we have everything, but when we leave everything and just allow ourselves to create time and stay away from food, stay away from maybe technology, stay away from the things we love, and find time with God, we show that we humble ourselves. It also reminds us that man does not live by bread alone. And that was the answer that Jesus answered when he was tempted to eat bread. Though he was hungry, though he needed the bread, he was in dire need of something to eat. He reminded Satan that man does not live by bread alone. From 25 it says, when Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the false spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge you, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him so, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, in so much that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him, and he rose. 
when and when he saw he, he he was and when he was coming into the house his disciples asked him privately why couldn't we cast him out and he said unto them this kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting there are things we pray about and God does and there are things we've been praying about for a long time and maybe God has not answered your prayers and maybe you feel you are wondering what you can do more because you have been praying fasting is a way and it is powerful when we fast and create time with God this is what it does number 1 when we fast we are able to overcome satan and his schemes and temptations There are times there are things we struggle with the addictions we struggle with there are times some traps that we find ourselves falling into but we are reminded that when we fast we are able to overcome satan's scheme and temptations Jesus Christ had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights before he came to be tested by satan and because he was in a fasting mode in a mode that he was very close to God because fasting brings us closer and closer to God. We are away from the world and the things of the world and we come closer to the world. In fact, the Bible says when we hit the world, we are able to love God, but we cannot love the world and claim to love God. When we love the things of the world, then in a way we are hating on God. When we fast, when we abstain from all things that we love of this world, then we get closer to God. At that time, we are able to overcome the temptations we are able to overcome the schemes of the evil one we are able even to drive satan away the bible says after he had overcome the temptations satan left him at times satan looks at our lives especially our spiritual life how we live as christians and we find he finds that maybe we even create an opportunity for him to continue tormenting us but when we fast when we get closer to god the nearer we come to god the far satan leaves us because they cannot be together if we allow ourselves to fast with a purpose to come closer to god then we are able to overcome the schemes of satan and the temptations of satan and as mark 9:29 has also reminded us there are things that can only be driven out through prayer and fasting that thing that you have been struggling with let us also practice fasting at time at, at that time of fasting remember those things ask god to come and intervene may he come and bring a breakthrough to the things that you are feeling that for long you have been struggling with them are you in a season of temptation are you in a season of struggling with something fast the answer is fast and pray fast and pray because god will hear your prayers because god will see the humility of fasting because god will mind about your affairs and the issues you are facing and he will come and because it is powerful to fast then in faith believe that god will do it for you number 2 fasting helps us to hear clearly god's word and also his revelations when we are fasting at that time of fasting it helps us to focus fully towards god you are not thinking about the things of this world but you are focused on god at that time because prayer is talking with god at that time of fasting we get revelations we hear from god he tells us what he desires he tells us the revelations of what is planning for us in the book of acts 20, 27 we read of paul when he was in a ship when they were shipwrecked and at that time in the ship for 14 days they had not eaten anything and the bible says at one time at one night in the day of the 14th day then god revealed himself to paul he was telling him and reminding him remember my promise that i'll take you to rome and you go and you preach remember i am with you he reminded them that no one will lose their lives but he'll save them all it is at that time that he, they had abstained that he was in fasting that he was not eating and immediately god revealed himself to himself to paul then he called to his people to eat and also to drink it is a time of fasting that god will reveal his will and also his desires for our lives at that time god will come and give us guidance and direction 
Don't live a life where you are not guided by God. Don't live a life where you don't know where you are heading. Don't live a life where you are directing us yourself. But by fasting, you are able to get the directions from God. He will lead you and guide you. He will give you directions about your family. He will give you guidance about your business. He will give you a direction towards your career. The things you are planning as a family, the things we are planning as a church, the things we desire to achieve as a country, it calls us to fast and pray. Through fasting, God will lead us. At that time of elections, when it comes, at times we are called just to, to take time and fast so that God may lead us to know who to vote for. But what do we do? At times, we look at our tribes. At times, we look at our experiences. At times, we look at the people we are electing. We forget that we can find true direction and true guidance from God when we fast. And how does he come and guide us? The reason he is able to guide us and direct us at that time is because fasting keeps us spiritually awake. You may be a Christian, a believer of God. You've been very good in attending church services. You've been very good in going for, for fellowships. But it is possible you may be spiritually asleep. But when we fast, we are always spiritually awake. You are able to discern the plans. You are able to discern the spirits. You are able to discern everything that is happening. Remember Daniel, when he was in fasting for 21 days. And the book of Daniel reminds us that at that time, the angel of the Lord came and gave him a message that it was at that time that he felt that God had not come through for him. But he was reminded that your prayers has been answered. And it is Satan who is holding them. The Prince of Persia is holding the answers to you. But because of prayer and fasting, continue praying, continue interceding, and you receive your answer. At that time, when you feel like God is far away from you, can you fast and be spiritually awake? And you will be reminded that God is with you, that God is holding your hand. You should not fear, even at that time of challenges. When you fast, you realize you are not alone. Even at that time, when you are going through a difficult situation or circumstance, at that time, create time to fast because at that time you will hear clearly the voice of God. You will hear clearly his guidance and also his direction. He will tell you what to do. He will tell you where to head. Let us as Christians not just fast when we have the Lenten season, but knowing its importance and its meaning through fasting, we can practice it. You can do it for 14 days. You can do it for 40 days. You can do it for a day. You can do it for a week. But let us build up a culture where we fast. Fasting, going, seeking God, humbling ourselves, seeking his guidance. Even at this time, we are almost at the end of this year. We don't know about 2024. We don't know what holds for on us, for us, what the year holds for us. But through fasting, God can guide us. God, God can reveal to us what he expects of us in the coming year what he expects us to do in the next year, where he's leading us as a church, the things he has planned for us. God is able to reveal the things he has planned for us because he loves us, because he, we are his children, because he is our father. And because of those who love him, he'll guide them. Let us be guided. He always speaks. He always guides. He always directs. But we can only hear when we fast. We can only hear when we listen. And fasting is the best time to meditate and to ask God to talk to you and you'll be able to listen and even hear. Don't just pray, because prayers at times, we are always telling God. But when we focus on fasting, we put all our focus to God and we are able to clearly hear his direction and his guidance. We are able to overcome all the schemes of the evil one and also the temptations and through fasting Satan will be able to leave us and will be able to live a life we have overcome both the world and the things that they come with the world in the name of God the Father Son and the Holy Spirit Amen mm -hmm.